So now what we want to look at is the very opening two or three lines of this poem. And I think for the purposes of what we've looked at, it's, a, it's actually the opening four lines of this extremely free verse poem. So we have, first of all, the word morning on its own. And we're going to use the black here just for Lexis, for individual word choices that are interesting, unusual, or have multiple meanings. So just the word morning on its own. And I think the isolation of this, and you could also then deal with this as an element of structure and form, the isolation of this single word line gives us the sense of someone else saying this. Good morning. This is a, this is a call that people might use to wake each other wake each other up. So there's a sense of someone else saying this, and I think that relates to the theme of loneliness and isolation. I think this poem takes on loneliness and isolation for um, an individual that is isolated from his, his origins and his home. An island man wakes up to the sound of blue surf in his head, the steady breaking and wooing. Now the thing that you will probably be noticing in those particular lines is the sibilant alliteration, the sound of blue surf in his head, the steady breaking and wooing. So what we have there is that particular type of alliteration that's called sibilant alliteration, or sibilance that here I think is supposed to suggest the sound of the sea but also its impermanence or its transience. It is not permanent. It's something that is likely to recur for a moment and then disappear. It's sibilant alliteration that gives us the sound of the sea but also a sense of impermanence. Importantly, it explicitly declares to us here, though, that this is imaginary. So this description here explains to us that this is an imaginary experience, largely the product of dreams, of dreaming about your home country, dreaming about being in a particular location, and then waking up and finding yourself somewhere else. So we have, in these initial um, lines, we've got an emphasis on the protagonist of this particular poem. It's not a, the speaker and the protagonist are not the same thing in this poem. It's the, the protagonist of this poem is imagining being at home and, and connecting with the, the scenery and the sensory element of that scene. Through, the, through his imagination and through his memory. Interestingly, also in these lines, in this imagery, the sound of blue surf, which is, whilst it's alliteration, it is also imagery. It's audible imagery. Imagery here, we've got the combination of the sound and colours, which gives it this sense of vivid reality. So this imagination seems to be incredibly intense and incredibly realistic and real. What you're trying to do when you do this is try and work out the poet's purpose. Now, from this, we know that, for example, that we've, we've got a largely, I'd say, tolerant attitude towards the man, a positive um, relationship between the poet and the speaker, and I think a position of, of empathy for, for people that find themselves feeling lost in a particular location or feeling alienated from the surroundings that they find themselves in or distant from their country of birth. 